In this video, I will show you how to search the Points of View Reference Center database. This is a database that contains essays which presents multiple sides of current issues or events. I'm going to start on the SRC homepage and show you how to find the databases page. Go to the Student Services tab and under the Learning Resource Center heading is the Library Services link. On this page, click on the Databases A to Z box. Then under the General Databases heading is the Points of View Reference Center link. The first step is choosing a topic that interests you. To begin, you can either enter a keyword in the search box or use the Browse by Category menu to locate articles by popular topic. Each category features a tree list of three or more topics. I'll begin by clicking Global Warming under the Earth and Environment category. When a topic is selected, you're immediately brought to the Overview essay. On the right, the Related Items sidebar allows you to navigate to the Point and Counterpoint essays. Reading all, through, all three, the Overview, the Point, and the Counterpoint essays will help you to understand the controversy surrounding the issue or event you're researching. Now I want to show you how to do a basic search. Click on the POV logo to return to the home screen. Then type your search terms in the box. I'm using Global Warming again. Using the search option instead of the Browse by Category menu, I received additional essays and articles for this topic. When you find an essay or an article that you like, you can listen to the article by using the text-to-speech feature, or use the Tools menu on the right to print, email, save, or export the article. To cite this essay, click on the Cite link and a window opens. And this will show you the different styles of citations. Choose the style your instructor wants, and copy and paste it into your document. Be sure to double check that the citation format is correct. You can also save articles to an EBSCO account. Click on the sign in link at the top of the page. On this page, you can sign in by using a Google account, or you can sign up for a free account with EBSCO. Once you've signed in, just click on the Add to Folder link and you can log in any time after that to access your saved articles. As a bonus, your EBSCO folder account will follow you as long as you decide to continue your education at another college or university, as long as the school has access to an EBSCO database. These are the basics to searching this database. If you would like further assistance, feel free to message me through the LRC course in Canvas. You can also find me in my office on the Canton campus, second floor, Centers Building.